high on the scrub and you're here for one reason. One more time so I know I've got this right. You want me to find the research on an etheric converger which is buried deep in this library which has been sealed for 15 years and I'm the first person to set foot in it since it was shot. Why do you think this is a good idea and how do you know the book hasn't disintegrated from everything that's possibly in there? What the hell is plot armor? You know what, fine, I'm going into a library anyway. I'll look up the definition while I'm in there. Time to learn about the Great Google Library. Simplified. Pull and kill the two dragonflies in the first room. The door will open when they have been defeated. If you're with the duty support system, you can single pull the rest of this section of the dungeon, but I'm going to explain this as if you're in a normal duty finder. Head through the next area, picking up the dragonfly and ink bottles along the way. Make your way up the stairs and pull the next group of mobs. Gather everything up on this platform and nuke it all down. Head up the stairs through the open door. Pull the group of mobs on the next platform and head down the stairs into the room where the Marilith and Tomes are. Kill everything, the door will open, and it's first boss time. You know, whoever invented the phrase sticks and stones can break my bones, but words can never hurt me has never encountered a 50 foot tall sentient dictionary before. This boss doesn't really have an aggro meter. It'll just hit blizzard on whoever it feels like. It also has purple straight line AoEs. First in the middle of the arena, then on the outside of the arena. To dodge this, players will stay on the outside of the arena, then move in once the middle purple AoE has disappeared. If you get hit by any of the purple AoEs, it will give you the debuffs of heavy and slow, which will reduce your movement speed and increase your recast time. Both of these are assunerable. The book will cast Repel, which will knock everyone back to the far wall. It will then start casting Disclosure and close itself. You must get behind the book. If you don't get behind the book, in time it will open up and perform a large straight line AoE and instantly kill you. And yes, this goes through tank involved. The book will then spin around and knock everyone back who is in melee range allowing you to attack the book again. If you get resurrected and are somehow still on the wrong side of the book, it will instantly delete you with a 30,000 damaging auto attack. Don't ask me how I know this. The book will repeat mechanics from here except for one other mechanic which is Words of Winter. This will turn the floor into ice. This means that everyone won't be able to move without sliding a considerable distance. If it does this when it's casting Disclosure, don't panic. It's best to stay towards the outer wall so you can slide in a straight line past the book without much hassle. Head down the stairs and pick up the two gremlins. The gremlins will target random party members and hit them with a debuff Misery which increases their damage taken. This cannot be a Sooner. However, you can use the Comfort Emote on these party members to remove the debuff. Target the affected player and use the emote via the emote list or by typing slash comfort in the chat. If the NPCs can do it, you can do it too. As you pick up the gremlins, turn right and a book will drop down from the ceiling. It will tether itself to a party member and continuously cast Death Ray on that person. This person should stand out of the way to avoid the book's death ray from hitting anyone else in the group. I recommend the small section between the book and the wall. You will also need to avoid the book's small circular AoE which is called level 5 death. If your level is divisible by 5, in this case 60 or sink down to 60, and you get hit with this move, you will instantly die. Pick up the next group of mobs and turn around the corner to the left where another book will drop down from the ceiling. You will also need to pull the extra group of mobs in the side room to open the barrier. After everything has been defeated, head into the open room and group of the enemies with a book that will fall from the ceiling and kill everything to open the next door. Head through the door and turn right, picking up the mobs as you turn left into the next room. Another book will fall from the ceiling. Kill everything. Turn left as you make your way through that door and it's second boss time. Page terrors are cleaving tank bosses so don't stand with a tank. The boss will move to the book in the center of the room and cast head down which is a straight line AoE that will follow one player. The boss will gap close from the book to the player who has the AoE and knock them back. It doesn't matter if you're close to or far away from the boss it will do the same amount of damage. Watch out if you're standing directly behind him as he can perform tail smashes at a medium sized kernel AoE behind him. Once you get the boss under 70% it will move to the middle of the room become invulnerable and summon two books into the arena. These books will perform narrow straight line AoEs to random players. Every 12 seconds the boss will perform a room wide AoE called Bone Shaker. This will give everyone in the fight a Voln stack. He will continue to do this until he has killed everyone. To stop this, you will need to kill a book that has been summoned into the fight. When a book has been defeated, it will create a wispy white orb that will tether itself to the nearest player. You will need to drag this white orb into the boss to knock him off the book and remove the invulnerability. After this, the boss will cast Gale Cut. This will summon four green wisps. If you run into these wisps, they will damage you and anyone else near you in a small AoE. The boss will repeat its invincible mechanic when you get it below 30%. However, this time it will also cast Gale Cut while you're killing the books. So if you're transporting a white orb, make sure you maneuver around the green wisps. The boss will repeat all other mechanics until it's defeated. Head down the stairs and pick up the imps. Continue along the path until you reach the Skatine. The Skatine will cast Void Core, which will summon two extra gargoyles into the fight. Around the next corner is a logo standing in front of a closed gate. When the logo's HP gets low, it will give itself the debuff Drain Strikes. Its auto attacks will now absorb the damage that it deals to the tank. Even though it's a pushover, it's best to focus it down quickly from here. When the gate opens, pull the patrolling logos and the floating eyeballs. If you don't feel confident, you can kill these three mobs here. Proceed down the stairs where a Skatine will be waiting for you and another book will fall from the ceiling. The Skatine will cast Void Call and bring two more flying gargoyles into the fight. Kill everything and the door to the final boss will open. You will see six circles in a hexagonal pattern on the ground. Keep these in mind for later. If you get a red marker above your head, you will have a pulsating orb dropped at your feet in a few seconds. You will need to place this orb away from other players. After a few seconds, it will create a medium sized point blank AoE where it spawns. If you are caught in the AoE, it will give you a Voln stack. When the boss finishes doing mechanics below 90%, 60%, and 30%, the boss will move to the middle of the arena and will light up purple symbols in the six circles around the arena. How many symbols lit up in each circle means how many people are going to need to stand in the circle at the same time 
time to lock that circle down from spawning an ad. The ads don't have a lot of health, but they have their own unique mechanics that can throw a spanner in the works if you aren't careful. The boss will also create a point blank AoE around itself called Magic Burst, followed by a donut AoE on the outside called Deep Darkness. It can also be the inverse of a donut AoE, followed by a point blank AoE. If you get hit by Magic Burst, it will knock you back to the outside of the arena. If you get hit by Deep Darkness, it will inflict you with a heavy debuff. After the final circles of 30% have been resolved, the boss will repeat the orbs and AoEs until it is defeated. Congratulations, you have beaten the Great Google Library. My name is The Scrub. Thank you for watching.